Okay, sorry, uh, I'm back. <laughs> Just now the video got cut off because of some uh, memory issue. Okay, so we'll continue from here uh, where we left off just now. Okay, so we know that this is superheated. Okay, we want to find the temperature. So we've got to go to the superheated table. Okay, so at 15 bar. Okay, we try to search for the 0.24 V. No, 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 no. Close. No. So 0.24 must be somewhere between here. Lah. Correct. Meaning to say the temperature must be somewhere between 500 and 600. Okay, so we have to do the interpolation. Okay, so we will follow the fixed step. Temperature 500, V 0.2351. Temperature unknown, V 0.24. Temperature 600, V is uh, 0.2667. Okay, so we'll interpolate between these sets of value, these two sets of value to get the middle one. Okay, so standard uh, T minus five hundred, middle minus top, bottom minus top, middle minus top, bottom minus top. Right hand side, follow the same sequence: middle minus top over bottom minus top. Okay, so from here, uh, do your calculation. You should be able to get 515.51. Okay, can so so far so good, ah. Good. Okay, next we will move on to question number four. Okay. So the rigid vessel have a volume of three point two. Contains this amount of wet steam at a pressure of 12 bar okay determine the temperature okay so first off a very straightforward la, because uh, this is wet steam right so the temperature must be equal to the T set at 12 bar okay so no question being asked so let's go to the saturated water and steam table 12 bar okay T set 18 Okay, one eight yo po po ya. Okay, so uh, B. Okay, determine the specific volume of this uh, wet steam. So to get the specific volume, we can use the formula since we got both the volume and mass. Okay, so volume divided by mass. Three point two divided by twenty six point five. Okay, this will be 0 0.1208 meter cube per kg. Okay. C to get the dryness fraction. Okay, so the typical way to get the dryness fraction will be to use this formula la. X is equals to V over VG. Okay. So in this case, we already got our V, which is 0 0.1208. Okay, our VG, the VG will be the VG at 12 bar. Okay, because that is your reference value. Okay, so VG at 12 bar, 0 0.1632. Okay, so this will be 0 0.7402. Okay, good. D. You want to get the enthalpy Okay, so to get the specific enthalpy of a wet steam We use the wet steam formula la. Okay, 1 minus X HF plus X HG Okay, so 1 minus 0 0.7402 HF will be HF at 12 bar HG also HG at 12 bar So 12 bar HF seven nine eight HG two seven eight four. Okay, so plug in the values seven nine eight plus uh two seven eight four. Okay, so this value here will get um two two six eight point zero four kilojoule per kg. 
So to get the full enthalpy, big H mass times specific enthalpy. So 26.5 multiplied by 2268.04 and this here you will get 60103 kilojoule. Okay, last one, E, same thing, specific internal energy, follow the formula, H, uh, U, F plus X, U, G. Okay, so 1 minus 0 0.7402, U, F and U, G, again from 12 bar, so at 12 bar, UF seven nine seven UG two five eight eight seven nine seven plus two five eight eight. All right. So the specific internal energy will be two one two two point six nine eight kilojoule per kg. Okay, so again, to get the full U will be mass times small u. Okay, 26.5 multiplied by 2122.698. And this will give you a 56251.5 kilojoule. Okay, that's all for question 4. Okay, now. Okay, question 5. Okay, so almost the same thing. We have a rigid vessel of volume 2.8 containing dry saturated steam at a pressure of 6.5 bar. Okay, determine the temperature, specific volume, mass, internal energy, and enthalpy. Okay, so in this case, uh, we already know that this is dry saturated steam. La. So we don't need to check for anything. Okay, so 6.5 bar. Okay, so A. So since this is dry saturated steam, okay, the temperature will be equivalent to the T saturated temperature at 6.5 bar. Right, because we said the both the uh, saturated water, wet steam, saturated steam, three of these uh, all will follow the same saturated temperature. So 6.5 bar. Let's try to find. 8, don't have. Huh? So it's 6 and 7 only. Okay, between these two temperatures. So we got to interpolate. But we realize that 6.5 uh, is exactly in between 6 and 7. Uh. So it can be just an arithmetic average of these two values. Okay, so we do the simple way. Take the average between 6 and 7. 158.8 plus uh, 165 divided by 2 okay so it is 161.9 that's it okay B to get the specific volume okay same thing okay we got to interpolate lah. between 6 and 7 VG and VG okay so automatic average so V will be uh, VG at 6.5 bar Okay, so we take the average 0 0.3156 plus 0 0.3728 divided by 2 And this here will give us a 0 0.2942 meter cube per kg Okay C Okay, to get a mass, okay, so again, uh, the mass can be found using big V divided by small v, since we have both of them, big V 2.8, small v 0 0.2942, okay, so the value here will be uh, 9.517 kg. D. Internet energy. So first we get the specific internal energy, small u. So small u will be u f, sorry, u g at six point five bar. So again we take the average between this and this, six six nine and six nine six. 
Hey, sorry, that one is UF. It will be 2568 and 2573. 2568 and 2573. Okay, divided by 2. Okay, so this value here will be uh, 2570.5 kilojoule per kg. Okay, so to get the big U will be mass times uh, small U. Okay, so we have the mass which is uh, 9.517 multiplied by 2570.5. So this value here will be uh, 2463.45. Alright. N E. Okay, H, same thing. U, uh, H, G at 6.5 bar. Okay, so 6.5 bar between 6 and 7. Okay, HG 2757, 2764. 2757 plus 2764 divided by 2. Alright. Okay, so this will be 2760.5 kilojoule per kg. Okay, 10. So uh, big H will be mass times small H. This I'm not sure. Lah. So you can just get the value. Okay, so that's it for uh, question number 5. Okay, bear in mind, this question, we never go through the standard interpolation process because of the fact that 6.5 is in the middle of 6 and 7 that's why we can take the arithmetic average okay so don't anyhow ah. if it is not in the middle you cannot just do this no okay okay so we go to the last question question 6 ah. my printing got cut off ah, so uh, I will just write the question so we are given superheater steam 9.2 bar 225 degree Celsius Okay, we are asked to determine these three things. Specific volume, specific internal energy, specific enthalpy. Okay. So, we will go to the superheated table. Got 9.2 or not? Between 9 and 10. Don't have. Okay, got 225 or not? Also don't have. Okay. So the value here is only 200 and so we need to do double interpolation first we need to get our 9.2 values from this row and from this row we need to get our 225 value okay. Okay. so to help you better visualize this process uh, i will draw a somewhat like a matrix like that uh. okay so we keep Give me a minute, yeah. So there will be a one, two. So this will be a one, two. Okay. Yeah, my box still still quite decent. <laughs> okay, so, uh. Oh, I'm still short of one row here. Just one. Okay, so what the values we have? 9 bar. Okay, so let me just write down. Uh, temperature 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, from the table uh, directly, V is 0 0.2305. U is 2628. H is uh, 2835. Okay, don't turn off us. Uh, huh? Let me show finish what I want to show first. Okay. So U is 2714. H is uh, 2948. Oh, all this from the tables. Uh. 9 bar 200. These are the values. 9 bar 250. These are the values. So of course we have our 10 bar. Okay. 10 bar. Uh, B is 0 0.2061. 
U is a two six two three. H is a two eight two nine. Same thing here. V is zero point two three two eight. U is two seven one one. H is a two nine four four. Okay. So first off, as I say, ah, I want to get the nine point two bar value. Okay. So I need to interpolate lah between this and this. Okay. Okay. So, ah, I will just show the calculation just below ah. Okay, can. So if you want, you can write down nine bar. Okay, V is zero point two three zero five. Nine point two bar. V is unknown. Okay, ten bar. Okay, V is zero point two six zero two zero six one. Sorry. Okay, so we start our interpolation. Ah. Okay, can. So in this case, ah, uh, middle minus top over bottom minus top. Okay, middle minus top over bottom minus top. So we will get our new v here, lah. Okay, v at nine point two bar. So V here will be zero point two two five six two. Okay, so V here will be zero point two two five six two. Okay, so I just do for one set lah. So now I also want to get the nine point two bar at two fifty the value of V lah. Okay, so again at nine bar. V is zero point two five nine seven. Nine point two bar. 我不知道 Okay. Ten bar. Is a V is zero point two three two eight lah. Okay. So we are ready. Middle minus stop. Bottom minus stop. Middle minus stop. Bottom minus stop. Okay, so V. In this case, you will get uh zero point two five four three two. Okay, so let's put it here. Zero point two five four three two. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so now I want to get the two two five ah, degree Celsius one. Okay, so of course. This one will interpolate with this one, ah. And the good thing here is, or the lucky thing here is, two two five is exactly between two hundred and two fifty, lah. So we can make use of the arithmetic average. Okay, so I'll do the value here. V will be zero point two two five six two plus zero point two five four three two. Okay, divide by two. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna squeeze a bit. So the value here for V. Will be zero point one two nine nine seven. Okay, so this is the general procedure. Of course, you can do it the other way around, or you can get the temperature first, then interpolate for the pressure. It's the same. For me, I find it more intuitive to get the pressure first, then uh. Do the temperature. Okay, so I'll write down the the fill in the remaining box in the matrix, ah. So the U here between these two, okay, nine point two bar will be two six two seven. Okay, this one go and calculate yourself, ah. Oh. Then the H here will be two eight three three point eight. Same thing here. U will be two seven one three point four. The H here will be two nine four seven point two. Okay, so interpolate between these two, 
by just taking arithmetic average, the u here will be 2670 kilojoule per kg and the h here will be 2890.5 kilojoule per kg Okay, so this will be your final uh, box. Okay, of course, if, if you don't want to draw this matrix, it's okay. Lah. I'm using this matrix for teaching purpose to let you understand the, the idea. Lah. Okay, so this is the double interpolation. Okay, so please try to complete this yourself. Okay, if there's no uh, nothing else, then actually there's nothing else. This is a video tutorial. How can there be anything? Okay, so I will see you all for tutorial. Thank you.